Street, then take the first right. All right, you guys, we're still here in Klamath Falls, Oregon. Uh, we're just going down the street, probably five, six miles. Um, picking up here, going to like the Sacramento area, it's like only 300 miles. Um, then he's got a load, he said, out of Lincoln going to Calexico. So, probably won't be home until Friday night. So what we're going to try to do is pick up this load and then uh, drive as far as we can tonight. Uh, even if it's only about four or five hours left, I think I have... Try to get this load quickly, get out of here, shut down, and then roll out right as our uh, tent is up, even if it's like 3 o'clock in the morning or not. It's the plan. I've never been here, so interesting. Let's see. What's up everyone? Uh, we are here in Redding, California. We made it here with like five minutes left. Uh, this was a tarp load. Um, I did this pretty quickly to get out, but um, I'll do a video of the strapping once I get over there. But there's gonna be a big gap right here. Um, I'll show you guys why I did it this way. Uh, I like the, uh, the ends nice and squared. So this is actually perfect, it doesn't balloon. I've tried this before and I got my baby tarp finally for the first time back here. So um, everything's doing pretty good right now. Uh, it's only a 300 mile drive down, so uh, we're not gonna be able to go home. Uh, tomorrow, we're still 650 miles away. And, uh, and this is going into Sacramento. And then he says I'm going to uh, Lincoln, which is back up and then back down, probably another 100 miles, 50 miles up, 50 miles down. So, be home Saturday morning is gonna be the deal. We're here at the TA, so we're gonna get some Popeyes and get a shower. So, we'll see you guys later. What's up, everyone? We are here in the Sacramento in one area. Mile, 
Turn right on Mercantile Drive. Uh, took about three hours to get here like planned. This is a really good load to go home. Um, I didn't have that much hours yesterday, so this all works out. And then you get $100 for tarp, which all you need is a tarp and a half on this one. So uh, you get that little extra $100 on top of it. So that's how I look at these little short loads with tarps. It's get extra 100 bucks. And then if you get another load going home, which it's a 50 50, we get another tarp load. We can get uh, $200, so $100 per load to go home. In one half mile, turn right on Mercantile Drive. Uh, these guys don't open until uh, it says 8 on Google, but I'm thinking 7 they start receiving. But if not, we're going to get all of our bungees off and leave the tarp on. Uh, unless there's space on the street to uh, take the tarps off, which I didn't see. It should be just light. But yeah, if we can get turn right at the traffic light, the straps and bungees off, just leave the tarp on, and all we have to do is by the time they come in at eight, is just to take the tarp off, they can start unloading. Twenty-four seventy-seven Mercantile Drive on the left. What I saw was the entrance was there. Thank you. I think that's another building. see a gate open. So what are we gonna do? I'll park it right here. Alright you guys here's the load this is how we did it. Um, I want it nice and squared, so put this small one right here. I had it kind of in the middle, but the guy had a good point. I had this little baby tarp. He said if I put it against here, that little baby tarp should be going right there. So it did actually work perfect. And as you guys saw the tarp, all you had to do is pull it down. It's not an in balloon or anything at all. And then I'll show you guys the back, but I just want to show you why I did it this way, because of this baby tarp. So if I put this right there in the middle, this would have nothing to rest on top. So, gaps are fine. It's not a big deal. Um, I like the loads being nice and square in the pack, easy to tarp. All right, you guys, all right, you guys this is what we did. You can see the different sizes right here. So they wanted the big ones all the way back here and it was gonna stick out and the small ones on top. So the small one was gonna stop like right there. The big one was gonna cross like that. So this is why I did it this way. Put a lot of straps on it more than we should, but uh, because of this piece on the other side, you'll see, um, just put enough straps on there. Okay. So I had this piece right here. It's a little smaller than the one on the other side, as you can see. So this strap was there. Then I had three straps holding this. So one, I have four actually on this one. And, uh, 
came out pretty good. It's not too bad. Right, uh, rode pretty good. That's your center light right there. As you can see, that thing is centered as center gets. Boom. So, um, we're almost done. Hopefully they'll take us. There's nobody here. I guess here they, uh, uh, the day cab guys load their own trucks. I go inside and see um, who will un unload us. <laughs> there was about four trucks in here. They're all gone and now it's all quiet. So we'll go in there, find out. What's up everyone? We're here in Lincoln, California. Uh, this is one of my favorite places. I like this little small town just to get to the lumber place. Uh, it's in California, so this is one place that feels like it's not part of California. Um, the shipper's really good too. They're really quick. You could have four or five trucks there. They load you really good, and then they weigh you really good too. So you get on the scale. More times than not, they load you heavy. Uh, I've had, I would say out of 10 times I've been here, they had to rework it probably like four times, four or five times. Uh, but it's all right because they get you legal and uh, they always make it work and they're really quick and no tarp usually. I've never tarped here so um, and it's a really good load. So it looks like um, as you guys know I did 3,800 miles uh, last week. It's a record for me and there's no cheating. There's no way to cheat it because uh, we get paid per day. Uh, this is what I love about Central Oregon. Pay per day. So that load that went all the way to PA and back to Oregon, those are the perfect long loads. You get that money where you don't stop, drop off, pick up, drop off, pick up. It just drive 640 miles for six days. Uh, so really happy with uh, last week. That was awesome. I told the dispatcher, I'm like, please, Please put me on dedicated uh, to get coils to PA and PA to Oregon and back down to go home. That's the dream. This is the dream right here. <laughs> so, and this load's cool because it's going to Calexico. So it goes through the house and then on Monday, drive another two, three hours to get there. So I'm living the dream. So I uh, couldn't get home today, but we will go home tomorrow morning. It's gonna be short like two, three hours, but once I shut down uh, today, I'm gonna roll out around my 10, probably be early morning, I'm hoping, because it's only about 8.30, so if I get out of here by 9.30, say 10 o'clock the latest, I'll have uh, seven hours to drive. I'll shut down by five and roll out at three o'clock in the morning and uh, get home hopefully around seven or eight. So that's gonna be the plan. Right here, there's a guy that's uh, this gate guard guy that checks you in. He's been here forever. I've never been checked in with somebody else. So I'm hoping he's here. He's a uh, Middle Eastern. He's a really cool guy. Love the guy. So cool. I was like, what is that? How long you been here? Long time, Every time I come here, you're here. I, I know. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. you too. Man, I love when you go to places a lot and it's the same person every time. He always gets me this paper, but I already know the number. Let's see if anybody's here. This is the place where they uh, stole my freaking tarps. I came here and didn't have it. Still gonna eyeball it and see if I see them. The only way I know it's my tarp, it had a uh, coil, uh, a string at the end of it. Uh, 
because I went to Russell to get coils and to give you the rope. So we're gonna go get checked in. And hopefully get out of here pretty quick. All right, you see how quick they are? We've got two trucks behind us, but don't take too long. I was off duty for five minutes. They're usually waiting for you. Uh, man, they're making this shit tighter and tighter. I'm telling you guys, look at all this lumber. Everywhere lumber place you go, you just see this much lumber. And that's why I always say lumber will never run out. <laughs> There's so much of this everywhere. It's crazy. I've never seen this go down. This is actually, they got more than they usually. This used to never be this tight to get in here. I just checked the bill lady. It is a no tarp, like always. So, love it, love it, love it. So that short trip with the tarp pay actually comes in handy because uh, because at least I get the hundred dollars. I like to have at least a one hundred dollar tarp pay once a week. So with these long loads, um, I'm only getting like one or two trips a week right now. Where did I go? Where'd you go? doing it 
until freaking Ken, uh, Kenworth uh, was fixing it. So now it's even worse. So might be getting another truck. I don't know. These are two major issues that the airbag dumping's been an issue forever since I've had this truck. So if they can't fix it, I need to get another truck. Should be should go. Uh, let's go. So it should be right here on the left. I think last time, because it was so weird, I passed it, I'm pretty sure. But this time I know what it looks like. Here it's just so weird. And he's got this lumber down here. Guys, here's the load. Uh, we did four up here in the front, uh, three in the middle, and then uh, four back here. You'll see these smaller pieces. This is how I wanted it. Uh, you can see on here, I got Tonka. Uh, same thing over here. See, I just wipe up three pieces, and then there's uh, two small half pieces up on top. And then uh, this one's kind of bowing, but it didn't go anywhere. So uh, we're gonna get unstrapped right now. Hope they'll take us here pretty quick. Uh, pretty easy load. Done this before. So uh, we're gonna get unstrapped and hope they'll take us here pretty soon. What's up everyone so the guy's gonna take us here in about five minutes i just got parked right here he pulled me forward finally been here for four hours got a preload from gypsum colorado or gypsum uh here in blaster city uh it's going to san jose california it looks like a construction site they said address is on the bill lading i've never had this experience this is the second time with central oregon that they say that the address is on the bill of lading. So it's kind of weird to me, but the last one we had, they couldn't find the address, I remember watching that video, until I got almost two, three hours from the drop. Uh, so I hope this is not gonna be the same issue because by the time we get loaded and I get the bills, it's probably gonna be like four o'clock, five o'clock, so I'm gonna have to call sales again before they get off uh, if I don't get an address. So that's the plan. Uh, like I've said, I'll do the unload right now and do the ending right here. So I appreciate every single one of you guys. Uh, like I said, uh, if you guys are coming to Central Oregon, please use my code, email me your phone number and say, hey, I use your referral. What that does for me is I call Cole or anybody else 
and um, see how things are going. So if you had questions like, still haven't got an answer or whatever it's not, I can help you guys. So it helps me help you and all that. So uh, if you guys actually want to come to Prime and you think these videos help, uh, like I said, my friend Scott Fisher, please use his code. Uh, between him and I, we'll both help you on that. And he'll do all the calling at Prime uh, to help you get in if you can. Right now, they're not hiring too much. So, but I appreciate every single one of you guys. I'll see you guys on the next video. Stay safe. Peace out.